Speaking about the work is more difficult than making it. Mm, what to say about this painting? Racism is like rain. Either it is raining or gathering somewhere. Perhaps how it comes to be, its antecedents. At Skowhegan, circa 1963, I encountered a substance, lamp black powdered pigment. It sat in the corner of my mind for several years until graduate school, and for the next 25 years of painting, it became my material of choice. I developed a technique that may have seemed counterintuitive, which was using a chalkboard eraser to hand drive dried lamp black powdered pigment into the unstretched canvas where it remained unfixed. I determined that one could not make a flatter painting than that, even as it presented a very human, seductive, velvety surface. Who cares about flatness? Well, at that time, a whole bunch of makers and critics. Consequently, the making with this dusty substance answered two groups of folks, those who insisted that black artists make black naturalistic paintings and those who insisted that paintings be flat. What has all this to do with racism is like rain? Well, the brushy, color-saturated surfaces of action painting and the uncluttered, minimalist viewpoint were two attitudes that had interested me as a young maker. This painting is one of a large number related to a construct I had worked over many years, mating a contemplative, quiet, air-in, finely-grained, porous surface to a brushy, unabashedly, flat-out, splashing, excitable, fluid material paint. It was one of a group of paintings that formally responded to work created in the late 60s and throughout the 70s, loosely referred to as the Lamp Black series. It was also a response to having grown tired of the non-giving of the floor and wall and other heart surfaces on which the earlier paintings and drawings were made. Moreover, these paintings responded to my suddenly needing the alive feeling of the breathing in and out that was offered by canvas on a stretcher bar. And I needed the lickable, kissable, sensuous oil paint palette offering material that could be buttery or crusty, filmy or opaque, thick or thin, as I fancied, whimsy being my guide. Since January of 2017, this very year, Racism is like rain, either it is raining or it is gathering somewhere, is more relevant than it was a quarter of a century ago when it was created. It references a sad fact of our daily lives here in the United States of America. I dearly love this piece and wore there more time the story she would tell.